Hey everyone, Carl here at Funky Wine again. And this week, the sun is gonna come out. It's gonna be nice and hot, I believe. So I have got some rosé. How about that? As some of you may know, not a massive rosé fan, but I thought I'd give it a go as the sun's coming out. Um, and this particular one, it's called the La Vieille Femme Rosé. Um, I believe in my worst French, that means the old farm. So there we go. Um, it's an interesting rosé. It's made by the Perrin family, who actually produce some of the most amazing uh, Chateauneuf du Pat wines. Um, sadly, this isn't one of them. Uh, it's their rosé. Um, and it's from their rather inexpensive label, La Vieille Fern. It's about seven quid. I got it from the co-op uh, just down the road. And um, it's from Mont Ventoux, which um, is probably more well known for its stage on the Tour de France and the, the gruelling climb that it is. And uh, it's always a bit of a, a, a struggle getting up that, uh, that Mont Ventoux. Uh, no doubt they probably replenish with a little bit of rosé when they get up to the top. So I'm gonna try this one, give it a go, see what it's all about. First of all, it's a lovely color, isn't it? It's got that fantastic pale salmon color that everybody loves nowadays almost like the Provence rosés. This is from a little bit further north. Uh, the great varieties are Cinso, Grenache and Syrah, um, which you know, are really well known grapes in the area. Um, and uh, we'll give it a go. Okay. Um, as with, with a lot of rosés, it's got some nice strawberry notes to it. Uh, it's quite floral, um, lots of red fruit. And uh, we'll give it a try and see what it tastes like. It's fresh, it's crisp, some soft red fruit there. It's not the most complex wine in the world. It's okay, it's okay. It doesn't wow me. Um, it's seven quid. If it were for me, I'd probably spend a couple of quid more and get something from Provence. But it's all right for seven quid. I'd probably give that, if I was giving it out of 10, 6 out of 10, oh, I mean, um, sorry, Rosé fans, um, but yeah, 6 out of 10, not a bad little wine, and um, a nice sort of thing you could quaff easily um, during this uh, this sunny period we've got coming up. So there it is, La Vie Firm 2015, uh, from the co-op, 7 quid, happy days. Cheers, everyone.